Hey guys, hope everyone had a great summer. It's back to school for the kids and it doesn't mean you have to stop entertaining and we certainly don't. I entertain all year round. I wanna show you a really easy um, appetizer and this one is great because it doesn't have to be served hot, which I really enjoy. And it's only using six ingredients. So um, it's going to be a stuffed baguette and I'm gonna show you how I made it. Um, first of all, what I did was I chopped up some artichokes in water. They were packed in water, just in a can. Chopped them up very uh, finely. And then some sun-dried tomatoes. And again, I just chopped them really finely. They're so nice and chewy and I love them for this recipe. So that's ingredient number two. And then I just chopped up some chorizo. And chorizo is a spicy pork sausage full of the main ingredient um, besides pork, of course, is paprika. So it's really nice and it's got such a wonderful flavor. So spicy chorizo, you can get mild or medium if you don't like the spicy. And also some nice fresh chives. So that's the fourth ingredient. And some Philadelphia cream cheese, just plain. I let it come to room temperature. And I also let the chorizo cool down after I just fried it in the pan a little bit. And I'm just getting some of that oil, getting rid of it, so I have it through a sift. So we have the artichoke, the chives, the sun-dried tomato, chorizo, room temperature, Philadelphia cream cheese. And lastly, we have a baguette. So it's the stuffed baguette. And um, I'm gonna get the filling done first, and then I'm gonna show you how I made or assemble the baguette, the stuffed baguette. So we'll start with the cream cheese, the room temperature cream cheese, which is important because it has to come together and if it's straight out of the fridge, it's just not gonna work. So we're gonna get that down into a bowl. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the other ingredients. So we're gonna add the nice chopped artichoke, and get that in, and the chives, get every bit in there and the sun-dried tomato, and lastly, the chorizo, spicy chorizo sausage that I just pan fried quickly and drained because there was some fat. So there you go. And now what you wanna do is just mix it all up so that it comes together. And I like to use a fork for this. So some people, if you wanna use a spatula, that's fine. But I just find with a fork, you can mix it up and kind of roll it over make sure that everything is all mixed up really, really well. The colors are beautiful for this too, if you can see. So you have chorizo, which is actually turning the cream cheese a little bit of an orange color because of that paprika. And then you have the green flecks of the chives and the really nice artichokes um, and the cream cheese, which is one of my favorite ingredients to use. So we're just gonna make sure that that's all mixed up really well. And I'm gonna put it off to the side just for a second. And I'm gonna show you how I hold out, or hollowed out the baguette. And I did one earlier. So the type of baguette that I bought was a brown baguette. And I bought a thick one and you kind of need the thicker baguette for this recipe. And this is actually a small baguette, not like the long French ones, because I find that the shorter ones are thicker. And then, so what I did to hollow it out was I just took my bread knife after I cut it in half. And what you do is you just go down inside and with the serrated knife, be careful, and kind of go as far as you can all the way to the bottom and go around in a circle. So you're going around and around and around and around without tearing the sides. And then just kind of haul it out a little bit with a knife and you see the center is coming right out, just like that. Now, if you wanna go a little bit further, you can go in there, but this one actually looks quite good. So I'm gonna stop. And as I said, I already have one done. Now we're gonna go back to our filling and I have a piping bag. I usually don't have piping bags because I don't bake, but one of my friends bought me this, so perfect, I'm gonna use it. And then we're gonna get that cream cheese mixture, just five ingredients plus the baguette, down into my piping bag. And it's really chunky and I can smell the chorizo and this is really, really great for an appetizer. Um, one of the things that I find with a baguette, baguette's like the easiest thing that you can pick up when you have people coming over. But most people expect their baguettes to be fresh out of the oven or hot if you're doing like a, a nice crusty 
bread with olive oil and garlic. But the problem with that is that your guests don't always show up on time. So it's really terrible if they if you make them ahead of time. It's hard to judge when your guests are gonna come here. And they could be too crunchy by the time they get here, which is perfect with this recipe because it can be served at room temperature. It's better like a little bit cold, so you don't have to worry about it being hot and perfect at the right time, which is another bonus. And then what I do, is because it needs to go into that hole, don't worry about getting all the way down to the bottom, but you can smoosh it down and then just take your scissors and cut it off so that it's kind of thick at the top. Again, we want it to be thick because the hole is gonna be a lot larger, which is gonna go down into my baguette. So then just take it and pipe it all the way down and get all right to the bottom and be generous with this. So go all the way, just like that. And there you see, that's your stuffed baguette. And then I'm going to do the other one because there's a lot left over. So just pipe it all the way down, just like that. And then what you wanna do is to wrap it in some saran wrap or tin foil or you know a zip top baggie and put it into your refrigerator until your guests show up. You could do this in the morning. Um, it can't be done the day before because your baguette really is only good for that day. Um, unless you're making croutons with it, which you're not. And then um, take it out before they come. It's, the cream cheese is gonna firm up a little bit when it's in the refrigerator, which is gonna make it perfect for cutting and slicing. And then when they get here, just cut it and serve it on a nice plate. And this is a perfect recipe. It's so delicious, stuffed baguette. Um, if you're not a fan of pork, then don't use pork. You could use, um, well, you could use beef bacon, and if you don't want to use meat, just omit any type of meat, and then you have a nice vegetarian stuffed baguette. So there you go. There's a really crowd-pleasing stuffed baguette recipe. I hope that you give it a try sometime.